Hey, hello, welcome back. We are again on Payback today. So we're carrying straight on from where we left off on the last episode. So we put the tram lines in. Um, these fields here, I've decided to go for something different actually, and never used this before, is putting in the the catch crop. So go into your here, you can go catch crops, all seed, uh, radish. It's a special crop, you don't have to harvest it, you use it as a fertilizer. It's all we got to do once it's visible green I just cultivate it to dig it into the soil and that will give you a fertilizer state for the next harvest so I figured I'll just get the field um, in the best condition possible for the main crop I want to go in which is the barley and the key, uh, canola we're going to put in the ground which is why I've gone for the cash crop in this field in the top one um, we might put some sunflowers in this one maybe um, if there's time so we've got until the end of the month to get these in the ground again I'm still with this uh, crop calendar it's knowing that you can't plant wheat and barley in until April March time on this one this I think is the base game one they've used so you I can only do it in September October which is the main crops I want to put in the ground only once a year so it's a little bit annoying um, do a lot of oats on Umbrian Valley, so I want to do oats just yet. And again, I don't want to do corn and sunflowers ideally because we haven't got a planter. And soybeans, we don't really do in the UK. Um, potatoes requires a lot of equipment. And again, cotton, probably not in the UK, or sugarcane, or sugar beets. Um, obviously, grapes and lots of good here. So I've gone for the, the all seed radish just for now and see how we get on with it. Again, I've never actually used it, I've got a worker going. So it'll be interesting to see sort of how that develops and what sort of state it gives your um, yield. And so all we need to do now is get ourselves rolling the field. Now I did have a roller purchase on episode one if you remember back a while ago. But for some reason a couple of mods just glitched out or uninstalled themselves. So I've just bought this cheap one here for two grand. Um, and again, the tram lines will disappear, but it's not to worry, they are still there. Once the crop goes through, we'll see that they are actually still present. So I've got the Ford down here today, just so we can have the bigger machine on the kit. And um, we're just going to roll these fields in, and the seed bed, to get ourselves a bit of extra boost fertilizer. I'm not sure if it pushes weeds back in the ground. So weeds growing, and then here they are still growing so well it's a bit hit and miss some pieces it says it is and others it doesn't so we'll see if it stops the weeds i'm not sure if it does push the weeds back into the ground i know it puts stones back in if they're small but it's a fairly wide roller this one you see a lot of these in the uk these big metal sort of concrete rollers you see laying around on the edges of fields generally there's one in my little village not too far from me so Quite realistic using these instead of the big massive ones that you get on the base game. Again, so it shouldn't take too long really. I always do forget to roll actually, is that the seed in the ground? I do tend to forget to roll the ground. Um, I'm not sure about how it affects precision farming, I think it still gives you the boost for the yield. I believe. Hopefully it does, otherwise we'll burn a lot of fuel. But fortunately we don't need too much horsepower for this uh, bit of kit. What I might do to save the constant reverse and just do a uh, loop and just try and fill in the gaps each time. That's about there, I should do it. We might miss little patches here and there which saves the constant up and down reversing. And then on the way back down we'll just try and do the gaps we've missed on the second passes on the way back down the field. Hopefully that should work, I hope. Okay, no GPS on this tractor, so it's all just by eye currently. 
probably a little bit too close there actually. Let's just come left a bit. Again, we're not going to be perfect because I'm not very good at this ironing off sort of thing. But we'll do the best we can. I should do it just there. Jumping cab for a change, I think. So once we've done these fields, got these uh, fields prepared down here, we're going to head up to the uh, the dairy farm and we'll just get some feed topped up on the TMR, do some more mixing and then we will also look at the field conditions as well whether it's worth fertilising the grass or not um, we have reduced our fields by two as well, remember we sold two so we've got a bit of cash to spare so I'm going to look at doing some silage work I think so probably won't have to have a combine at any point to harvest a forage harvester um, we probably could get the trailers at least to start with and eventually we'll move up to forage harvesting with the, like a class or something but we'll see how it goes with funding once we make some more profits for the year we also need to get the milk as well moved across to the um, dairy production so we can start selling our milk or cheese I'm going just off a bit too far on this one. Just come in a bit. There we go. In fact, what I might do, I might just um, set these workers going. We'll do, we'll do this field ourselves and then um, <laughs> just get a worker doing the other field. And then we'll head up to the dairy farm today, actually, because we've been down here for a few episodes now. Um, you probably don't want to watch me doing just field prep the whole time. It's probably the most mundane jobs, takes a while to get done. But it obviously makes sense to do it all properly instead of just getting in the ground and having poor yield like the last year's um, one we had. Far too close now. The worker might run out of seed on the uh, catch crop, but we'll see. Hello. Probably look at the back window, shouldn't I really, and try and keep it straight. Might be easier. It's a lot easier to turn your head there in real life a lot faster than it is the mouse controls. In fact, I could probably just make a turn, can I, and come back on the previous line. Just turns on too sharp, really. Might just do that, because I'm leaving a lot of gaps here. A lot of small gaps that aren't worth filling. Excuse me. I'm guessing the speed on this one is uh, APH as well, because it says it's going 15, but we're not going 9 miles per hour. On the in cab one, that is. Yeah, we should have done some start, really, shouldn't we? Just gone back on ourselves. The turns don't take too long.
we come right slightly. It would be nice in this game as well if you can actually see your players like feet and hands. But weird that they remove those from the game really. Just a floating steering wheel. I'm sure someone's been a mod for it at some point. Okay, so I'll finish this uh, field and I'll jump back in just in a moment. Okay, so I finished the field here. Just set a work on the next one. They're going to roll in that seabed on the main field. Again, the tram lines will vanish, as you can see. They will reappear, just so everyone's aware. And then the worker has stuck against a tree if they finished, but they haven't. Uh, Joe, I'm just going to delete this tree, it's going to be an issue I think in the long run. There we go. See that become an issue quite often. So we'll go grab the land rover and we'll head up to the uh, dairy farm. Just see how things are going up there. <coughs> I suspect we'll need to do some TMR mixing um, first thing. Okay, here we are then. So again, one thing we need to look and consider doing is obviously getting this field here um, seeded with some grass, I think, for silage work. So that would then give us, or even maybe core in the future, but for now, if we leave the two top fields up there for our hay, so grass cutting, making hay, the two top ones. And then park here for now. What we need to do then is look at some equipment for some silage work. So I think we'll start with a trailer initially. We are going to need to replace these bunkers I think because they are probably a little bit too small for what we need actually and probably maybe too narrow for some of the kit. So what we'll do is um, get this field well, it's ready to harvest anyway after the yields quite low 64% because it's not been touched since we started the series that one there is obviously for the cows but again this field is huge because all the way around the side there so that probably will be enough to be fair for our initial silage work and then we can use that field as a backup in the future and we've still got the three fields down the bottom as well for our um so that's up for our grass work to make the hay. And we've still got quite a lot of excess as well going. So we've still got uh, loads of grass. Which will, again, we'll produce a ton of the silage. And we've also got a trailer full of hay which we need to sell off. Or mix up what we can and then probably sell off any excess. But we can't use it at the moment because we still need to put a sale point in. We've still got silage on the field down there as well. So we've got plenty of silage now. So we probably wouldn't be looking at doing that until July, August time in the summer. We'll just do one cut for the year, I think. But we are going to need to get the yard tractor. And top up these cows feeds. So we had some pre-mixed stuff from the last batch anyway, but I don't think it will go very far once we start loading in. There should still be plenty of straw in there.
Obviously the old cows in the way and they're all coming in now for some food. That should let's see what that puts us up to. That should give us Uh, 11,000 litres, so we've got plenty room for more. So we'll probably, if we just open this second gate up, we'll just loop around each time then. <laughs> Rather than reversing into the cows. So we'll grab the other trailer. Good job we've got two, so we can have one go at all times. While one's mixing. We park that car there. So we'll park this one up down here so we can get the mixing going. And then we'll grab the second second loader and get mixing. Yep. So I'll grab the um, <clears throat> forks in the front loader here and then I'll just crack on without any talking and we'll just get this job done. So we'll just load in the bales and uh, yeah, enjoy as I do this.
Okay, uh, we're back again. So we just need to go now take this next batch down to the uh, L shed out in the field. So they've got the best feed as well. Um, I think I'm just going to tough up the TMR and we're going to leave the fields just for grass fields, I think, on the, uh, the main area for the field grass. I think the ratio is quite right, we've got a uh, hay bale in there still, hopefully once we empty it should fill up the excess. Sort of struggling a little bit with this little tractor we got here. Yeah, there we go, so that's the first one. Let's see how much that gives us. So it's a self made cow shed. It's got 11,000 litres, so we can still get another patch in there. We've still got 4,000 litres of grass as well, which we need to get rid of. So we'll head up and get the second trailer or mixer. There's any cows, they must be in the other field today. And that's us pretty much topped up then again, we've still got, to be honest, a lot more than I thought we were going to have. So we've still got a whole lot of stock to get rid of. So your A, we consider maize plus, so they need more feed, or we just get more cows. I still haven't really looked into it a whole lot, so I think maybe best just to just get more cows maybe. And then on a different playthrough we'll do the uh, maze plus. Just so we don't confuse things too much to start with. So we'll get this one undone and then I'll skip down to the uh, other farm just get those workers back on track because if they were just stopped they would just crack on with the second field. It would be nice if you could have like a waiting order and so they go to the next field. Um, if you could queue jobs that would be a good little feature. What's going on now? We're probably caught by like a millimetre and it's causing the game to just do its thing. So this should give us just enough feed to top up the uh, the barn down here. Keep to the right, I think, avoid that big hill and this little tractor. Check 
change the tip side I think I'm not sure how to do it with keyboard and mouse there we go I mean it's on the wrong side but it's still going to unload no, I should be able to do it on my uh, steel more actually So R2 plus left down, there we go. I forget sometimes I can use the steering wheel controls as well. So I suppose that's like 21,000 but we're close to capacity anyway so we'll just leave that as it is for now and we can top them up more often then. So I'll get the workers finishing the fields on the bottom on the other farm. The feed's topped up. Now I'll have a think about what we can do with these fields. Um, about some silage. So yeah, apologies again for a bit of a sporadic one. Um, I need to come up with some better plans for this series because at the moment it's not really going how I'd like it to go. I've sort of run out of a little bit of motivation to do it. Um, so I'm going to come up with some ideas and plan out the year schedule for the series and I'll be back on track hopefully in the next episode. Um, but thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.